Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a huge haul for you today. Oh, my stars. Um, we got a lot of stuff to get through. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. All right. The first thing I'm going to start with is a perfume set that I ordered off of Ulta. And I probably didn't say this in the intro, but this is an accumulation of Ulta and some online orders. And I know I have here on my little message board that it's an Ulta order because the majority of it is from Ulta. And most of it you can get at Ulta. So anyway, so I got this and this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. Oh my stars. I, gosh, I had a little mini of this I think last year. And just fell in love with it. This is a perfect fall scent. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a um, fall perfume collection video coming up here pretty soon, and I'll go more in depth with talking about this. But anyway, this set, and I didn't see this set available at Sephora. Plus, when I did my order at Ulta for this, I had a 20% off coupon. So I have. Um, the dry shampoo, the full spray, and then a small little um, travel size. It's like a little splash. And the size of the full bottle is 1.7 fluid ounces on that bottle right there. And that was, it was a really good deal. It was like $80, I think. And then I got, you know, the 20% off. I think I had a 20% off coupon. I've been getting a lot of those here lately, not only through Ulta, but um, also through the Ulta um, credit card. Like if you use your credit card that's through Ulta, you got 20% off anyway. The next thing that I have is the Lorac um, Pro Palette number four. And just like um, previous Pro Palettes in the past, it comes with a eyeshadow primer which is the behind the scenes eye primer it's just a small sample size or deluxe sample size um, I shouldn't really say small I mean it eye primers last a long time because it doesn't take very much of them and you know that's a pretty good size of a primer anyway and then here is the shadows themselves very very pretty I love the purple packaging for one thing and then of course it has a little Lorac plastic thing but look at these colors right here oh it's so pretty you can tell I've used it already a lot of this stuff I have been using I've just been throwing it into not really throwing it putting it into a box on the floor just waiting to do a video and been digging in my box every morning trying to find some products to use oh man that's so pretty and performs just like all of the um, other previous Lorac um, Pro palettes in the past. I'm not disappointed. Love the pigmentation and the colors and just have been enjoying using it. It really kind of creates a really nice soft look which is perfect for um, us older ladies that are out there in the world that are trying to look as good as the 20 year olds but I tell you what our our life experiences that we have I would not trade in a heartbeat for those little young beboppers that are out there that have the rest of their lives to live and to grow I mean once you reach this age as I mean you pretty much know where you stand in life, what you like, what you don't like. You're not afraid to tell someone what it is that you like and don't like. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You're more confident, I think, once you become this age. Um, gosh, because we've got a lot of life experiences in there. But anyway, I also picked up the Emily the um, Once palette. I know a lot of y'all were asking me if I was going to get it and I wasn't going to get either one of the palettes um, when they first launch. I just, I don't know, I just, I'm not really huge into drugstore branded um, eyeshadows and things but then I started seeing a lot of pretty 
looks out of it and everything so I had to wait for it to come back in stock and I did get it and I did create my eye look with it today I'm trying to get it open um, I'm sure everyone has seen it it looks like this here um, my daughter got the the needs and I got the wants and I figured we could um, swap with each other if we got tired of one or the other or if we just wanted to try it but I will tell you though I was a little disappointed in some of these colors on getting the pigment. They swatch really pretty, they do. But when you go to start putting them on the eye and then when you start to kind of blend, they kind of, it's just not the best. But um, some of the, the matte colors I like, this color here, the cream, I think is probably the one that's probably the most disappointing for me. But that's okay, I have other colors that I can use in its place. And then this green here, I really, really wanted this to really pack a punch on the lid, but it just doesn't. But I have found that if I use um, like Fix Plus, MAC Fix Plus with these, that it works better with getting them packed onto the lid and really showing some um, color payoff, which is what I had to do with this look today which let me show you what I put on my eyes today. Um, I have oh, not very coordinated today. I have top stitch um, on the lid, on the mobile lid, and then I have hobby in the crease, and then I have apartment to darken up the outer edge, and then I have the cream all over the lid. So that is what I did today. And then um, they were doing a special that if you spent so much money on Makeup Revolution, you got this palette free. And this is the Hero, no, Fierce as Fire palette from um, Revolution, Makeup Revolution. And it's really pretty, but it's, it's got some really high intensity um, glow to it <laughs> let me tell you definitely not for the faint of heart if you're wanting a soft glow you definitely don't want to use this palette because it's going to show some major 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 glowing but that was free and I thought that was pretty good a pretty pretty good little freebie not bad and also some of the stuff that I ordered was also from the 21 Days of Beauty, which the day that I'm filming this, it's not completely over. So I know I'm going to have some more things to add to my box because I don't think we're going to get through this whole box. But anyway, I did get some of the Real Techniques complexion sponges. I like using this one, which is the orange one, to put um, foundation on. I like the way that it just... You can just really smooth it out all over the face and pounce it on. You've seen me use it in a video, but I do like those and I needed some more and those were on sale. They weren't part of the 21 Days of Beauty, but they were on sale for some reason. Anyway, and then um, this was a little freebie because my daughter and I, we share an account. So we have actually made diamond and this was a diamond perk. So this was free, and it's the Biolage Styling Air Dry Glotion that is a styling spray, a multi-benefit styling spray. And I'm not really for sure exactly how you use that, but that was a freebie. Another product that was a freebie when you purchased um, $25 worth of Weedad products, then you got to this free. And this is a full size of the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel Stronger Hold. And so I got that. And I wasn't for sure how I like this. I mean, I use Weedad gel but not this formula but I thought well if it being free I could give it a try but the product that I ordered that I had a deluxe size sample of and have fallen in love with and it's the curl quencher hydration intense curl cream and how I like to use this is I just take a little dab of it into the palm of my hand and then I put my gel in with it and mix it and then I put it into the hair and I really like the way that this combination works with my gel that I have been used for years and I haven't tried this yet I haven't opened it but that was a good free gift 
And let's see. I don't know where to even start with all this stuff. I had this. Um, this is again from Ulta. This is the An Andalou Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask for brightening. And I wanted to get this and try it because I wanted to see how it compared to the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And it looks like this here. I used it this morning. I did like three different rinse off masks this morning um, while I was cleaning house. And oh, it does smell exactly like pumpkin. It does have the honey smell to it also. I can't remember if that Peter Thomas Roth glycolic pumpkin has honey in it or not. I know that one has more grit and more texture to it than this one does. This one you can definitely tell the, um, the honey feel to it. But oh man, it was so nice and just felt so good. Now I will tell you when I first put it on, I was like, okay, does it have as much grit to it as the Peter Thomas Roth? Okay. I wonder if it's going to work as good because you know that when you put on and you kind of really start feeling the warming and the tingling, well this does the exact same thing. Um, definitely, it wasn't uncomfortable but could definitely feel, feel it working and um, I just left it on for I think for like 15 minutes and then I was ready to get into the shower and rinse it off and oh man it was so nice. Um, I think probably the biggest difference that I've seen between the two would be just the grit part of it so that Peter Thomas Roth is going to have a little bit more of um, manual exfoliation than what this one does because it has you know the little bit of grit to it. But I did like it and it was Gosh, it was like $15. It wasn't near as expensive as the Peter Thomas Roth. So if you're wanting a, a pumpkin mask, I would recommend this. The An Andalou Naturals Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask for brightening. This, I do remember, was part of the 21 Days of Beauty. This is one of the first things that popped up the first day, and this is the Too Faced, the Hangover RX Primer. I've used this before. I really do like it, and I wanted to get another one, so I have that now in my collection. Here is another free item that I got when I purchased that Lorac Pro Palette. They were doing this free tantalized buildable bronzing powder. What does it say what what I can't tell. And I moved my little magnifying glass off of my table. So I don't have that to even see. But anyway, this was a little freebie. So no smell. And there it is. And there it is swatched on my hand if you can tell right there so that was a nice little free gift I always try to when I, I don't think if I've ever told you this but I've try, I always try to wait to order anything when there's a sale um, when there's point multipliers a coupon a 20% off coupon or free gifts and uh, that's how I end up accumulating so much and plus with my daughter and I being diamond now if we order anything $25 if our order is $25 or more we get free shipping and of course I always you know make sure she doesn't need to order something when I place an order okay I'm trying to see what else we got Another product from Ulta was a item that was on sale or clearance, and this is from MAC. It's the Aliha collection. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure who this was or what, but it was marked down, and it was one of the Times 9 eyeshadow palettes from MAC, and I love these. I think these don't get enough talk about. And I have quite a few of them from different collections and I have liked all of them so when I seen that was popped up there as far as being on sale I thought well I'll get that and I don't think I even realized that this was even an item until I seen it on the clearance page 
Okay, I think the rest of what I have from Ulta was um, freebies, things that I got for free for either placing an order or because I, I don't know, used my credit. One of the things was if you used my credit card, my Ulta credit card, then I got a free gift. Anyway, if I seem kind of out of sorts today, which I I kind of feel like I am. I kind of, I can't get myself focused here. Um, I don't know if I've never even have said this, but I do suffer from depression and from anxiety. I do am treated with that and I've been having some problems. So I've been having to take a little bit more medication than normal. And um, I just don't quite feel myself, but anyway. One of the free things I got was when I went in store to purchase the Too Faced Hangover, I got a Clinique Take the Day, the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which I was really surprised. I didn't realize I was getting one of these, but anyway, it's just a little empty box. I have that in my gym bag as well. And she also gave me this from um, Dermalogica, and I don't think I've ever used anything from Dermalogica. But it's the Age Smart different ones. <laughs> There's a Skin Recovery with the SPF of 50, Skin Perfect Primer with the SPF of 30, and a multivitamin power firm. And it's just a little deluxe size samples. Oh, well, once this kind of sample, and then there's this, and then, oops, this little guy. So that wasn't too bad for, and I wasn't even expecting it, so I thought, well, that was really nice. Then I have another um, Clinique gift, and this one contains the Clinique High Impact Mascara Deluxe Size Sample, and another one of the cleansing balms, so that was good. There's a, no, that's what, some, that's what something else, forget I showed you that. Here's another little free gift, and this one was from It Cosmetics. This was for, on Wednesdays, if you don't know this, on Wednesdays, they always do, uh, is it called a beauty break? What is it called? I don't remember, but it's from 10 to 2, and if you spend X amount of money, um, you get the free gift that they're offering for that day, and it can vary on what it is. It varies um, on the amount you have to spend, and like I said, if you know you're going to be making an order at Ulta, wait till Wednesday till that comes up, comes up, and take advantage of getting a free gift. I mean, even if it's something that you're not really interested in, and you're going to order that amount anyway, you might as well get something free. You could always give it as a gift or give it away. Anyway, and this one was a little card that's the perfect lighting, radiant to touch magic wand. And it's just a little card, little card packets that it has on there, those little foil packets. Is it going to be any colors that I'm going to be able to use? Light, neutral, and honey, possibly. So that was in that little gift. And then there is the It Confidence in a Cleanser, a deluxe size sample. The It Confidence in a Cream another deluxe size sample. The Int Confidence in an eye cream. So that's on there. It's got a lot of glare on it, doesn't it? And then the Brow Power, the Universal Brow Pencil. A little sample of that. So again, a really good free gift. And then here's another free gift. This is um, the Ulta Week 31 Platinum Offers, what it says on it. And it's from Diva Curl. So I have the Diva Curl Leave-In Conditioner. It's called the Leave-In Decadence. It's a Leave-In Conditioner. The Wash Day Wonder. What is that? It's a detangler. The Wash Day Wonder. I don't know what that is. I can't read it. And then there's the Diva Curl Super Cream, which is Define and Control for that. Oh, does that have cocoa in it? 
I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so that was that. Oh, and then another free gift. I think this one was because I had used my um, my Ulta credit card. First of all, it's got one of those bags that's got the sequins where you can do it different ways, and I hate those. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. I just think. You know when you see those pillows that have that in there? I don't like that. Anyway, enough about that. Let's look what's in the bag. So, another product from Dermalogica. And this is the Fido Replenish Oil. From Biolage Volume Shampoo. Trivectin, uh, restorative, restorative, restorative cream, multi-action restorative cream. The Too Faced Mascara and Melt Off. Kind of intrigued about that. It looks like it's in a mascara wand and it's some kind of oil that you're supposed to put on your eyelashes to take off your mascara okay no yeah hmm that's different and it's kind of gimmicky don't you don't you think it's kind of gimmicky i mean why not just use your makeup remover your melt like those condi those uh, makeup remover bombs why do we need a separate oil that's in a mascara tube to put onto our eyelashes to take our mascara off I mean, okay, let's do a poll. How many of y'all take your makeup off before you get into the shower or your bath? Hands up. How many take your makeup off when you get in the shower or in the bath? Hmm, me. I don't do it before. I do it while I'm in there. So you're going to have to have this in your shower or on your bathtub and then poke, your, poke yourself in the eye trying to... That's a gimmick. That's gimmick. Now watch me love it. Watch me use it and think, oh my God, you gotta get it. No. Um, the Clarins, oh my God, what is this? Oh, this is a tonic body treatment oil. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is it's a body oil. <laughs> it's a little bottle. <laughs> okay, I may, if I, I could give this to my daughter, she could probably use that on her body. That would be enough for her body. <laughs> But for my body, um, hmm, no. Oh, but that smells good, though. Ah, oh, that smells good. That's going to do, like, one arm or one leg. <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> and then from Algenis, there's the Firming and Lifting Cream. It's a good deluxe size sample. And then in this little container, what is this? I think this was something I was wanting to try from Exuviance. Is this right? Yeah, Exuviance. It's the oh, some kind of acid peel. I can't read that. It says peel with a twist. New Exuviance Firm NG Non-Acid Peel is what that is. That's going to be kind of interesting to try that. I have to give that a try. And then the last thing that was in this little pack was a Tarte blush. How cool is that? Is this a blush? Exposed. Oh, is it the blush in Exposed? Oh, I have this in full size, I do believe. No, wait. No, this is not a blush. This is a highlighter. This is a highlighter. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't have your glasses or a magnifying glass. You can't tell what nothing is. <laughs> it's, it's a highlighter. <laughs> Oh, but it smells good. Oh, my God, it smells good. It smells just like chocolate. Mm. I wish it was cold enough to drink a nice cup of hot chocolate. I know some of you guys are getting, like, some really cool weather right now. Here in Oklahoma, it's, like, 98 degrees today. We still have the air conditioner going. But I did get my pumpkin candles out today and light those and burn those. So the house is not, like, fall, but it is hotter than Hades outside. Oh my gosh, it's hot. 
Okay. Um. All right. I think I have showed you enough for today. I do have more, but this stuff is things that I've gotten from TJ Maxx and some online orders. And I think I want to save this for another day because I'm just not, I'm just not feeling too great today. So, but I wanted to get that Ulta haul up because I know some of y'all have was asking me what I was getting during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and some of that was part of that. And like I said, I know I'm going to be getting some more later in the week. I think this is the last week of it. So, and then I'll try, it's not a whole lot for it. So I'll put all of that in with this. Anyway, if you're still with me, thank you. Thank you for staying. I hope that you enjoyed. And um, be staying tuned because I will be doing the giveaway winner announcements here pretty soon. So you want to make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you didn't see that giveaway, um, I'll put a little eye card up here so that you can go and check that out. Anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.